What's up, y'all? It's your boy Kev on stage. This is in traffic with Kev on stage, even though I'm not in traffic. Actually, traffic wasn't that bad today. I got so to work so early, I had time to stop by the grocery store and get more healthy stuff. I'm trying to eat right. I've been doing it for a long time. It's my sixth week, so I'm buying like mostly fresh fruit and crap like that to eat. One of you guys sent me a question uh, about the Grammys, and it's simply, I can't remember the whole thing, but simply boils down to, did Beyonce try and steal Let Us See Shine by um, uh, singing Precious Lord when uh, Let Us See sang it? So the backstory is, Let Us See sang, or Let Us See played Mahalia Jackson and in uh, Selma, and um, Beyonce heard that John Legend and Common were performing and she went to John Legend and Common was like, hey, can I sing Precious Lore with you guys? And they were like, yes, because she's Beyonce. And when Beyonce asked to sing with you, who's gonna tell her no? Uh, I did not see this performance because I was doing science fair project crap with my kids. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see. I usually, and I did have a link to watch it ahead of time, West Coast time. And um, I was helping my kids with their science fair project because I didn't wrap it up. Wrap myself up that is what I mean, not the project. So, and then Beyonce performed at like 1130 and there's just no way I'm staying up to see that. So I'll watch it on YouTube later today. But, uh, they asked Lettucey, what does she think about it? And Lettucey was like, look, I'm just glad, you know, she she played it politically correct. I'm just glad that I had the chance to perform, you know, I mean, a chance to be in a movie. She said all the right things. Um, but a lot of people feel like, A, Beyonce stole Lettucey Shine. B, Beyonce didn't sing the song with oil like Lettucey would have. Oil is safe for anointing. I don't know if Lettucey say, but... The common theme is that people believe Lettucey would have destroyed that song and had an altar call and Beyonce just sang. It wasn't that Beyonce had a bad performance, but just wasn't her best performance is the common theme. Like I said, I haven't seen it yet. I'm a huge fan of Lettucey's vo vocal abilities and Beyonce's as well. So do I think Beyonce purposely stole Lettucey's shine? Here's what I'll say. I don't know Beyonce. So I can't speak to her character or anything like that. I do know that Beyonce knows that the music business is just in fact a business. And the Grammys is the biggest stage for music outside of the Super Bowl halftime show. So as a businesswoman, it's in her best interest to be singing when the most people are watching. So, I would not be surprised if Beyonce was like, sorry, Lettucey, I'm taking this. And I'm not asking you, I'm asking John Legend and Common because I know they won't turn me down. And I'm gonna take this performance, I'm gonna sing, and that's just what I'm gonna do. I would not be surprised because look, it's a cutthroat world out there. Uh, it's, I feel bad because I feel like Lettucey earned the chance to perform and uh, Ain't gonna get it. Not when Beyonce says I'm gonna sing. Who who can tell Beyonce? No, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Lettucey on this one. You can't tell her that. So uh, I do feel bad for Lettucey. I wish Beyonce would have said, "Hey, let's duet this," because I'm going to sing. Okay, <laughs> not singing isn't an option. Going to sing. You want to duet with me on your song? Wouldn't been uh, would have been happier there. But look, man, this is a cutthroat business. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta stop thinking that these people are friends and all that. People are trying to get paid, trying to stay relevant, trying to stay on. Beyonce um, ain't out here to make friends. She's out here to make money. Um, I feel like this was a, a bad night for Beyonce because here's why: you got this where people think she did wrong. And then you got Kanye going on stage again and like faking that he's gonna talk, but then later on saying that Beck has to respect Beyonce's artistry. Here's why that's interesting to me. Beck plays like 14 instruments. You know what he did on his album? He did the vocals, piano, 
acoustic guitar, electric guitar, uh, synthesizer, glockenspiel. This man played the glockenspiel. I can't even tell you what a glockenspiel looks like. He not only knows, he played it, produced his own songs, all that. For the most, Beyonce had like 16 producers. So not that Beyonce's not a great artist, but Kanye, do, do the research, bruh. This man is a musician and singer. I don't know that Beyonce plays any instruments. So she's great on stage, dynamic. But artistry, my man plays like 14 instruments. Granted, I don't know nothing about Beck's album. But the man plays 14 instruments. You, I got to respect him, okay? Um, so I feel like, thanks to Kanye, Beyonce's artistry is being questioned like, you know, he's he's got to be the leader of the beehive. Every time he does something crazy on stage, it's at the defense of Beyonce. Did you guys see the vine with Kanye walking on stage and Jay-Z and Beyonce being like, you can see Beyonce being like, no, Kanye. And then they laugh when he walked off because it's like, man, let that let Beck win his award. Beyonce don't need nobody come and save her. She's worth a couple hundred million dollars, 500 million last I checked. She's going to be okay. She's got fans. She's going to be all right. So artistry for artistry, I don't think people, I mean, Beyonce probably can out sing back, but she ain't going to play the glockenspiel. She's not going to play the glockenspiel. So uh, back to my main point. Did Beyonce still let us shine? Hmm, probably. Because she don't care about let us like that. She's trying to get paid, trying to get on the main stage. Why she still can do that. Because Beyonce won't always be able to have that pool. There will be a time when she's the voice of a previous generation. So while you got the chance to pull that stunt, you pull it. It's your boy Kevin Sage. See you tomorrow. What's up, everybody? It's Kev on Sage. Go subscribe to my YouTube page. Don't you be bitter. Just follow me on Twitter. What's up, everybody? It's Kev on Sage. Go subscribe to my YouTube page. Don't you be bitter.